Hey folks, today I'm reviewing the New Balance Fuel Cell Rebel. So this shoe forms part of the fuel cell lineup by New Balance. It was released in 2019 and takes inspiration from uh, a shoe called the 5280, which is a shoe designed by New Balance uh, with the help from Ginny Simpson, who is a middle distance and steeplechaser Olympian uh, from the US. And I can't say I'm a big fan of this shoe. So with the upper, and sorry I'm going to go a bit technical here, but we have an injured mesh here called the um, jacquard knit. Uh, along the side here is called trace fibre stitching and together the two of them create this really nice lightweight um, breathable upper and uh, it's very comfortable as well when you're out there in the runs. Um, the lace system is a wire lace system, very similar to the Nike Flyknit uh, runner. And uh, all together, the upper is it's, it's nice, it's breathable, it's lightweight, and uh, it's actually, yeah, as I said there, it's very, very comfortable. I mean, when you're walking around or even, you know, doing those slow miles or even quick miles, you know, there's no obstruction there in the foot. It's just, it's very nice and lightweight. So now, moving on to the midsole. You see the midsole here, um, it's made up of this nice foam composition. Uh, it's very bouncy. Um, it's interesting actually, it's, it's, uh, it's a very nice midsole, um, very nice when you're out there doing those quick runs, you know, it gives you good support. Uh, speaking of support actually, um, you see here that there's an odd shape to the shoe here, this is called the flange, and what this does is it provides support for the shoe. So unlike other shoes, um, for instance, like the, the Nike Vaporfly Next Percent, when you're turning corners in that shoe, I don't think the stability is there. Um, you know, it's definitely quite unstable, especially if you're going very quick. With this, this flange here gives you more support. So when you're taking those corners, um, you know, you don't feel like you're going to fall off the edge. So that's obviously a help. Um, also of interest here is there's a plate here, um, just so you can see in the outsole here, but it supports the midsole and that's a nitrogen-infused nitrogen uh, TPU plate. And um, it's not a carbon fiber plate, like you'll see in most modern running shoes nowadays, but it does help you go quicker when you're really going for those hard, quick miles. So, um, interesting overall, uh, it's a good unit.
the outsole. So as you see here, it's made up of rubber mostly uh, and exposed foam here. And yeah, it's it's a fine outsole, provides good traction on those dry uh, concrete surfaces. And overall, it complements the whole shoe. Um, so yeah. Never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it that I'm never going back. Get it that I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. Get it that I'm never going up, going up, going up, going up, going up. So the tone here. So it's part of the upper unit, part of the jacquard knit upper. And uh, yeah, it provides good support when you tie the laces down on it. Uh, you know, as it forms part of the upper, it doesn't feel out of place, it's comfortable, lightweight, and yeah, good tongue overall. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. I get to it first, I got you mad. I guess that when I get to it last, get it, then I'm never going back. Get it, then I'm never going back. Going up, going up, going up. Going so, what I wear this casually. Uh, yes, and I have. Um, I mean, out of all my running shoes that I have, I think this is the most comfortable. And it's mostly due to the upper here and the extreme comfort it gives, um, which is, you know, it's extraordinary actually. And it's, it's just actually it's nice to wear on the house too. But in terms of the overall look of the shoe, I just don't like this this flange here. You know, I, it just looks out of place um, to me, but I mean, it's, it's not too noticeable, but at the same time, it does take away from the aesthetics of it. But overall, it's a nice looking shoe, and one I wouldn't be embarrassed with um, out when I'm walking to the shops or in town generally. So yeah, overall, I give a thumbs up to the casual wear of this. Going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, going up, get it that I'm never going. Get it that I'm never going Get it that I'm never going Get it that I'm never going Never going So the price point. Yeah, this isn't an extremely expensive shoe. I mean, I got this for 80 euro uh, last year, 2019. I think it retails for somewhere between that price, 80, 90 euro. Um, you know, even as high as I see in some shops, they're selling this for 110 euro. But I mean, if you can, you know, look, if your distance is more so the 5K, 10K distance, you know, I would spend up to 100 euro on this shoe. Um, but if you want this shoe, to be part of your training block for a marathon, for instance, um, and for a speed day only, I wouldn't spend more than 100 euro either on this shoe. So, I've been quite technical in my review here of this shoe, and technically speaking, I feel this shoe is, you know, really, really good. You know, it's 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 built for speed mostly, and it's hard to review this shoe when my, my training and what I do as a runner isn't necessarily suited towards what this shoe is for. So. This is built more so for 5Ks, 10Ks. And if I was a, you know, a 5K or 10K runner, I'd be like, oh, this is a great shoe, you know, very speedy, blah, blah, blah. But when most of my training revolves around training for marathons, and, um, you know, obviously that includes speed training, but equally it includes those long, slow days and those easy paces um, in my training block. I mean, I just don't think this shoe is complementary to those paces, those slower paces. You know, but when I bring this out for speedy days, quick days, uh, tempo training, it does work. But 
I like a shoe which can do everything, mostly. And this shoe is built mainly for speed and I don't think it's built for long distance. Like, I wouldn't bring this out for a marathon or even a half marathon. I just feel it's not made for that. It's made for those shorter distances. And with all that being said, I think it's a fine shoe for those shorter distances. I think it's very good for those shorter distances. You know, it's, it's, it's made for them. But me being a long distance endurance runner, no, I, it's not a shoe for me personally. Uh, I like to have in my collection, you know, and I, I like to even wear it out casually and around the house was very, very comfortable. But in terms of training with this shoe, I'd only bring this out for speed sessions. And I think even at that, I have other shoes which are a bit better for speed than this. But you know, look, I don't mean to crap on this shoe or anything. You know, it's definitely, it definitely does its job in terms of 5Ks, 10Ks, speedy sessions, as I said. But for me, yeah, I'm not a huge fan of this shoe.